Well, a good crowd remaining here in Swansea for the final few races and it's finals all the way, including this one, the longest of the competition so far, the women's 5,000 meters. And we have great home hopes for Jay Jones and Shelley Woods, but Manuela Shire of Switzerland looks to be the lady to beat, already has a gold medal in the 400 meters. There is a fellow countryman, Patricia Keller, came sixth in that race. Shelley Woods, silver in the marathon in the London Paralympics. She's had silver and bronze medals in the 2008 edition in Athens as well. Manuela Shire, already a gold medalist from Switzerland. One of the young British stars hoping to shine. Jane Jones, 18 year old, a bronze medal in the most recent Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, over 1,500 metres. What could she do over the longer distance? Vanilla Warren of Sweden. More experienced campaigner. A bronze medal for her so far in the race won by Manuela Shire. The European record, 11 minutes, 41.61 set a decade ago. So away they go. It's Ganilla Wallengren of Sweden, Jane Jones of Britain, Manuela Shire of Switzerland, who won the 400 metres final, Shelley Woods of Britain, and Patricia Keller of Switzerland. Two British, two Swiss, and a Swede as well. And they've all won recent medals. Patricia Keller, the reigning 800 metres European champion, claimed in Stadtkanal two years ago in the Netherlands. Shelley Woods, that silver is mentioned in the marathon two years ago in London 2012 but she won two medals also in the previous Paralympic Games in Beijing and being led out at the moment Manuel Shire the uh, 400 meters champion here in Swansea but he did so well also fantastically well at World Championships in Lyon last year she won the marathon Tatiana McFadden won everything else and Shire has just stepped aside for a second and she wants somebody else to take up the pace here. It looks like Jay Jones has come through to take the lead at the moment. Wallengren is in second place and Shire is determined to take a rest. It's a long race of course. We still have 12 laps to go. And Shire has already received congratulations on Twitter from the FIFA president, Sam Latter, for winning the 400 metres yesterday. I'm sure he is keenly watching this at Swansea2014.com. Well, it's Jay Jones who leads with 11 laps to go ahead of Wallengren. And then Shire and Keller behind in third and fifth, but it'll be... For the first few laps, a lot like the peloton in the Tour de France, somebody will do maybe half a lap, a full lap in front, and then move aside. The main race should begin in the final three, four, five laps, depending if any of these five have been burnt out. Wallengren of Sweden, who won bronze in that 400 metres final last night. The oldest in the field, born in 1979, 35 years old. She leads the way, but really good achievement for her last night to win that bronze medal in the four. Jane Jones there also for Britain, and just biding her time, the two British athletes right in the middle of the field at the moment. Jane Jones in fourth place, the other one goes, the bronze medalist in the 1500 metres. Last year in the world, we have 10 laps remaining, and Wallengren is leading them out with Shire in second place. And you mentioned the nationalities, Will, and of course, Wallengren is effectively on her own here as the only Swede in the race. We have two Brits and two Swiss, and I'm sure that this sort of pacemaking is something they work on in training.
You often see in the able-bodied racing at 10,000 metres, the, in the men's in particular, the Kenyans often running as a team before deciding who will take the gold medal. And we may be seeing something similar here, although Wallen Grant has chosen to drop off the pace just for a moment. And it seems that Patricia Keller has taken her turn at the front. Always was the case in the likes of the 5,000 and the 10,000. It would be the Kenyans up against the Ethiopians. Then Mo Farah came along and everything's changed now. Not more Ks in the IAAF circuit. Well, he's the equivalent of what they've done at the moment, isn't he? Doing everything on his own. And it's Shire who has taken things on again. The 29 year old, as we come through with nine laps to go. And all of these athletes are in the same classification, T54, so we shouldn't have anybody dropping off the pace significantly the longer the race goes on. The European record, 11 minutes, 41.61, but this is all about tactics, this is all about medals. I don't think we'll get anywhere near that today as Shire moves aside again, and it's the turn of the Brits to take up the pace. Yes, these are the T-54s, so they're the most powerful wheelchair races, T-54 down to T-51. You do see other athletes in wheelchairs uh, there in the early 30s, 31 to 34. That's the cerebral palsy wheelchair category. And then further up to 35 to 38, so the uh, cerebral palsy racing athletes. But the good wheelchair racing coming here. It's the turn of Jones to lead them out at the front. Shah just behind that marathon goal last year in Lyon. Then Shelley Woods, lot hoped of her as well. A marathon silver down the mile in London 2012. Wallen Gren in fourth place. And Patricia Kelly, the European champion in the Netherlands two years ago. That was at 800 metres. She's at the back at the moment with the other Swiss Shah hitting the front. But the real racing yet to properly begin. Although there's a little bit of movement at the front on the outside, looks to be from Shelley Woods. So things are beginning to develop a little bit here with about seven and a half laps to go. And everybody in the field will be well aware of Manuela Shire's finishing speed of, of course, taking the gold over 400 meters. A very, very versatile athlete over several distances. And she will be happy just to sit in there in the pack and let everybody else do the work at the front. And Shelley Woods of Blackpool takes that on at the moment. I'm not sure she wants to, though. She's in lane three. She's looking for somebody to overtake. And Shah just nipped in behind her, meaning that she wants Woods to do all the work for now and maybe tire herself out a little. So here's the teamwork coming in. Jay Jones taking it in on the inside. It's rather like the peloton, as you say, at the moment. This is very much the phony wall with seven laps to go. And Jay Jones who will have taken so much experience from that bronze medal over 1,500 metres in front of over 50,000 people so at Hampden Park in Glasgow like in the recent Commonwealth Games. The, uh, it's a different start, setting here. And now she is looking round for somebody else to pick up the pace. I don't think her teammate is too happy. Shire is happily sat in there in third place. And at the moment, both Wallengren and Keller are not really a factor at the front. Well, Jones was in lane two, looking for someone to overtake, and in the same position that Woods had been in a lap earlier. And neither Shah nor Keller nor Wallengren wanted to go to the front, which means that all the work right now has to be done by the two British riders at the front. Jane Jones leaving them out with six laps to go, and Woods in second place and they're just going to have to take the race up on their own. Shah tucked carefully behind in third place. Keller is last at the moment, but look at how tightly a bunch they are here in this Swansea University Stadium. We've gone through the six laps to go. British athletes one and two at the moment, but still a somewhat sedate pace in this final. And now Jones looks to wheel things on a little bit and Jones is looking to make a move and get ahead of the other four. And now they're beginning to stretch out with five and a half laps to go. Jones has decided to put the foot down a bit here. Very early to do that. We saw another Brit, Yomni, go out very, very quickly at the start of the 1500 meters yesterday. He eventually ended up with a bronze medal, but now both of the Brits 
have pulled wide after that injection of pace from Jay Jones. And it's Shire who has come through again. And now the favourite, who already has a gold medal, is looking to stretch things out and take this on on her own with five laps to go. That might have been a little bit deliberate, first of all, from the British point of view. Just try and force things up and then Jones slow things down and allow Shire to overtake. Well, Shah has overtaken, and how she's well out in front, and now everybody else is having to team up to try and reel her in. Shah pouncing with five laps, 2,000 metres of the 5,000 to go, and she's built up a lead of around 40 to 50 metres here. Woods well back in second place, leading the chasing pack. Then Jay Jones just behind. One and Grain of Sweden is in fourth place, and right to the back right now is Patricia Keller, but Shah has gone for it, having won 400 metres gold last night. This so much further 12 and a half times further but she's made a big move and she's made it with five laps to go and when she comes through the end of this straight in a few seconds time there'll be four laps to go and shara's way ahead and out to the road and that was great experience there for manuela shire she allowed the indecision to develop in the minds of everybody else in the field. And even though Jay Jones tried to open things out, Shire just sat there and has picked everybody else off and now has a lead approaching 150 metres. And she is surely on her way to a second gold medal here at Swansea 2014. And the battle may be on for silver and bronze behind her because Shire is streaking away along the back straight. And this will be a victory lap before very long. I think that's exactly what has happened because the other four are jostling around at the moment and Shire is well off, well ahead. It's around 150 to 200 metres now in which she leads. Robin Gren over at the far side has taken the story up to go into second place. But right now it's all about number one and Shire is well out in front and the rest you can't see right now. And by the time Cher goes past, with three laps to go, the rest haven't gone round the final bend yet. She's way out in front. It's over 100, about 150 to 200 metres now. It's not quite the full half lap, and it's not far off. This is where most of the action is right now. And it's Morgan Gwen who's leading them out. Woods behind her in third place. Then Jake Jones in fourth. Keller is fifth and last right now. And there's a gap now pretty much of half a lap. And it's Sharon who's on her way to glory. But who's going to get silver and bronze? Well, Jay Jones will learn so much from this race, and she'll learn a good deal from that move which Shire has pulled on the whole field. And at the moment, Wallengren behind Shire is looking to stretch out the field even more in the battle for silver. But the race for gold seems to be over already, unless there is some sort of mechanical fault for Manuela Shire of Switzerland. It's going to be a double gold for her as she comes around over the line with two laps to go. And there is an almighty chasm between Shire and the rest of the field. The big race at the moment is taking place on the top bend, about 250 metres behind Shire. And it's Shelley Woods who is looking to take on the pace from the outside beyond Walker, and she's followed by her teammate Jay Jones. And at the moment, it's Great Britain two and three, and there's an injection of pace from both of those as they cross the line with two laps to go. But it's one and a half laps to go, 600 metres for Manuela Shah, who won the gold medal last night. I don't believe there's been a championships in which she's won two golds before, but she's got to change that here. She won four medals last year in the World Championships in Lyon, gold in the marathon, and silver behind and the great Tatiana McFadden in the 400, 800 and the 5,000 metres. There have been various chances before in which she's won a couple of bronzes, a couple of silvers, but never before a couple of golds. There's the bell. She's a lap to go. And if she keeps this pace up, well, she's not going to lap the rest of the field, but she's going to come quite close to it. Well, they need a bell for her and a bell for the rest of the field as they come round with 150 metres to go on their penultimate lap. But Manuela Shire, you can't overemphasize how clever she was with her tactics early on in the race, just sitting in, allowing everyone else to think about who was going to hit the front and do the running. And then she was gone so quickly.
and she is about to come around with 150 metres to go and the rest of the race are just coming over the line now you'll hear the bell in the background as they start their final lap well, Jay Jones went through in second place and Wallach are just behind in third. Their major battle is yet to come. I think it's going to be Matt Wallachshire to win the main race here. And it just shows you the versatility of these T54s. Last night, the 400 metres. Tonight, the 5,000 metres. Double glory for Switzerland for Matt Wallachshire. Great victory for the Swiss athletes. But the major battle now is for second place. And it is 18-year-old Jay Jones who is currently in second place. Warren Gren of Sweden is in third, but coming on the outside is Shelley Water then coming around the top there. And this could be a four-way battle. And there's a bump there between Jay Jones and Patricia Keller, who tried to go through on the inside. And as a result, it's Gunilla Warren Gren of Sweden who comes through to take the silver. And Jay Jones has to settle for bronze in the end. And bringing up the rear was Shelley Woods. And there was a collision between Wallengren and Jay Jones on the final straight as they came through. And as a result, the Swede squeezed through to take silver a long way behind Manuela Shire. And she's already more than halfway through her lap of victory. Now, this is where she took the lead. There were around six laps to go. Look at her right in the middle. And it was uh, slowing up at that stage, and the Brits decided to open the door to allow her go in front, and she said, fine, thank you very much. And she never relinquished the lead. And she used her smarts. 30 years old at Christmas, she'll be great experience, and very little could deny her. Great win. And on that previous shot, you almost saw a look between Woods and Jones, as if to say, well, she's gone. And they were right. Well, there was a little bump that happened in the closing straight in the battle for silver, but I think that will go down as natural racing conditions between the wheelchairs. Uh, we've had, we, last year we had some spectacular crashes, I have to say, in the, uh, in the World Championships and the longer races, and we had a couple of reruns as a result. There was a bump, it happened a little earlier there, and Wallengren came through to take the silver. 36 seconds behind Shire with the goal, and Jay Jones, 0.44 of a second behind. So the 18-year-old who took bronze in Glasgow in the Commonwealth Games also takes bronze here in the European Championships. But the Swiss are celebrating again. A second goal for Manuela Schein. And what a margin of victory in the end. Over half a minute, Schein with the gold for Switzerland. Wallagren, silver for Sweden. And Jay Jones, the bronze for Britain. Are celebrating again. A second goal for Manuela Schein. And what a margin of victory in the end. Over half a minute, Shah with the gold for Switzerland. Wallagren, silver for Sweden. And Jay Jones, the bronze.